For three days, these refugees have waited and waited. The central station of Budapest is no longer a transit point in their journey. It has become a giant waiting room. Thousands cram into every available space, exhaustion written on their faces. Abdul Rahman is from Dara in Syria. This is not the Europe he expected. If the European Union is still treat us like this, they will push us to go to the, the uh, truck death, you know, and uh, push us to the to mafia's hand and pay money to cross the border. Bravo, Each one of these two people uh, paid according to 2,500 euros to, uh, to, to arrive to here. And then, out of the blue, the gates to the platforms opened. A mad rush ensued. Hundreds pushing to get into the trains, young and old crushed in the process. Everyone afraid this could be their last chance to leave. If people have been misled in terms of where the trains are going, that would be a terrible thing. I think that information has been one of the weak problems, or one of the main problems so far, and it has to be addressed. People need to know, they deserve to know what's in store for them, where they are being sent, and to make the right decision. But it was not to be. 40 kilometers outside Budapest, the train was stopped at the town of Bishke, where one of the government camps is situated. For a number of hours now, these refugees have refused to leave the train. A hunger strike has begun and shouts of protest can be heard. Police stand by, waiting for orders. A standoff. No one knows how long it will last. 